Hello and welcome to the Animorphs YouTube channel. Today we're going over another one of the Transformers action figures. This is the... Well, you can see for yourself, really. This is the Visa 3 to Inferno creature. At the moment, it's in the Visa 3 form. As you can tell by the hooves. Yes, hooves. Now... I've got two versions of this, so, well, not so much versions, but I've got one outside of the box and I've got one inside the box. That one ain't coming out. It's got all the bits attached. So on, on this one, you'll see a little, just a little hole there, and that fires what is essentially a bullet, because apparently the Inferno creature fires weapons from its hind left foot. On the other side, We've got this little handle. Come on, camera, focus. Is it going to focus? There we go. Right, so you've got that little handle there. And if you press that... The claw! Awesome. So that is him in Andalite mode. Let's have a look at the box, shall we? So we'll put you aside. You can probably tell just by the appearance that this was bought second-hand. It was never opened, so I've still got the... Well, not all... It's still got the sellotape holding it into the box. So it's on display in there. And that's how it comes. So it comes as the Inferno creature rather than in Visser 3 form. And there he is. So, changes into Inferno Cre changes from Inferno Creature to Andalite with launching fire fangs. Now this is strange, changes from Inferno Creature to Andalite, which is probably the wrong way around if you consider how Animorphs is supposed to go, but that's, that's transfer forms for you. Changes from Inferno Creature to Evil Andalite. Again, the... Um, you could argue that it's slightly wrong, it's a presentation, but there you go. I am Visser 3. Leader of the Yurk Invasion of Earth, my army's mission is to enslave every human being on this planet. I am the only Yurk in history to infest an Andalite body and gain its powerful morphing capabilities. I can change into any creature or alien I touch. In fact, I have been all over the universe acquiring the genetic patterns of monsters like nothing ever seen on Earth. I may look like any normal andlet on the outside, but underneath lives a twisted, terrifying creature with enough power to bring the entire universe under my control. How very sinister. This is different to the usual boxes. So, for instance, in the last one we did Rachel, it comes in... A bit of a smaller box with the card back. These are these are boxes. It's just a standard it's a box. And you've got on the bo bottom here an, a list of other ones you can get. I've got all of these in some form or of, an, of another. And I'm sure we will get to those in due time. But I wanted to do this one today because I've got... I've got it in the box and I've also got it out of the box. So it's, it's much more easy, if, easy for me to demonstrate to you. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try to turn this into that, because that's inf Inferno Creature mode. I will say, the design of this one in particular is not the best of the Transformers models. It, it doesn't look like an Andalite, does it? It, it looks very, um, <laughs> it looks le very leg heavy, especially at the back here. This is the Andalite tail blade or so it would seem. So, this, oh, for God's sake, why do I always forget to do that? Turn the bloody phone to silent. Right, Visa 3, let's deal with you. Firstly, I, I do like zooming in on the faces of these toys. If the camera will focus, there we go. I don't understand the face of the Andalites in these Transformer models, while they've got three slit pupils, or what appear to be three slit pupils and the nose the nose slits are rather quite far down the face but hey ho that's that let's change you viscer three where do we start 
This one, unlike the last one, doesn't have the instructions on the outside of the box. So this is going to be guesswork. And this, the, ch the challenge here is to see if I can do it without the instructions. So, Visa 3, let's change you to Inferno Creature. The head goes down there. <laughs> I do like that. It's some form of alien ritual dance thing. But I need to get this head in the right place, because at the moment it looks bloody awkward, doesn't it? <laughs> so, now I have completed this before, actually, so I've got a vague recollection of how to do it. Firstly, let's sort the arms out. These, these flaps here are probably the worst parts of these models, because they just stick out. We stick it out the side. But for this particular case, we just close it over the hands. Like that. That's what they do. And he's got, you can see the little Animorphs logo. Just so you know, it is official Animorphs merchandise there on the back. And that opens up like so to expose the viscid innards. How ghastly. What do we do from here? Right. These arms are on little, you see these little sl slabby bits here? These come back. Like that, and they fold all the way back, and then the arm twists and goes over like that. So I'll repeat that, the arm goes back, all the way back, like that, and then the arm goes around and over, so that they're both sort of over his head like that. At least that's what I remember. So, if I'm wrong, Christ, guys, just give me a break. This goes up, th this part here goes back. So, if we just move those arms briefly, and that comes up. This head is now there. Slide it in and just put these arm things in the way. <laughs> like that. So, now it looks like that. Starting to get there, I'm getting the basic shape down. Remove the tail up like that. Now these bits are the chest, so they need to go here. These bits need to go there, and they are mounted on these big hulking bits of figurine here. So the back legs swing over and over some more. You do have to adjust the other little bits, like this leg here. And it keeps going over, all the way, till the chest bit can go over there. Let's do it on the other side. So this, this is how it is. It, look, it looks a mangled mess right now, doesn't it? If you can make sense of it, follow along, please. So move that leg down a bit, just to give this one a bit of room, and then swing it. Swing it! Forward until it's in position, and you can, hopefully eventually, close the chest. So that your monster looks like that. And then, of course, the arms can move forward. Like that. And that's it. It's actually pretty simple. I'd say it's actually simpler than the Rachel one. Move that arm down, so you've got your, it's a tripod essentially, so it's resting on the hind feet, which has these little bits here, by the way, which move up and down. So in Andalite form, they're up like that. In Inferno Creature thing, they're down, offers it a bit more balance. Nope. Speaking of balance, I've just laid the topple over. So it will stand on its front claw as well, leaving this one ready to kill. You can move the head up as well. The head. It opens the mouth. Radical dude. So that is the Inferno creature. How balanced is it? It depends on how well you stand it up. It should be obvious. Yeah, awesome. And if you want to give it a tail, it, it doesn't quite look right. <laughs> it sticks out the back, so that's just part of the spine. All right. Next challenge is just to turn it back into Visa 3. If I can get it balanced, it would be nice. 
balance, you bastard. That, it, yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Right, so let's turn it back into Visa 3. Close the mouth, of course. The tail comes back. The Move the arms in a bit. And let's move these massive bit. Well, actually, open the chest first to allow that room. Then move that whole bit back. So that now forms the leg, and that closes on top. Same again on the other side. Move that all back. Make sure the other leg has given it enough room. And then, assuming it's in position, close the back. I think that's right. If it's not right, ain't my fault, it's your fault. How's that sound? Yeah, the tail was slightly in the way. So that's the tail now. Oh dear God, this is <laughs> more complicated than perhaps it should be. Now it, it just looks bizarre, but we can sort that. We, uh, we're a team and we're going to sort this. So the head goes down to reveal this is head. That head goes down back between the legs. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dearie dearie. Fold that back. Those can go back up again. And then these arms that are folded around the back come back out again, all the way. Unfurl and unsheathe. And I think that's as close as we're going to get without making a fool of ourselves. That is the Visa 3, or correction, the Inferno Creature to Visa 3 Animorphs toy figure thing. Not a bad little model. I, I just don't think it looks quite like an Andalite. Uh, you probably agree with me. I mean, it is the Transformers models. Don't expect perfection. Anyway, thank you for watching. We shall do more of these in the future because I do quite like getting these out and just having a bit of <laughs> having a bit of a play with these. So thank you very much for watching. I shall see you next time. And uh, I, well, that's it. Bye. <laughs>